So, lost one of my gloves on this walk of shame. I only went to one spot, this gas station. Oh, there it is right there. Look at that. Never give up. Look at that. You ever feel like you lost it all? Just turn around, take a second look. Don't never give up. I'm on day five of, uh, hey, some of y'all probably looking at this video like, damn, he, he set that shit up. He dropped that glove. Just turn around, go back and get it. Nah, man. I got inside Burger King right there. I said, uh, I said, damn, where my other glove at? I start to say, fuck it. I got plenty more. But money don't grow on trees. I only knew I only walked to that store over there. And I walked the freight line right behind it too. Yeah, I walked to the store, walked the freight line. Now back at Burger King, about to have some lunch. Day five, truck still ain't ready. I'm gonna leave it at that. Shout out, out Eric. Come rescue your boy from the hotel, man. Company left me hanging. <laughs> All you gotta do is go uh what is it? About 80 miles to the to the enterprise. How I'ma get there though? Hey, you gotta you gotta find your own way. Yeah man. Try to get this rental. Going back to the house. Home time. Is this correct? No. Please say the name of the device after the beat. Flatbed gang. Please say the name Boy pushing the Dodge Grand Caravan. Shout out my bro Eric, man. Came to rescue you, boy. Yeah, taking my home time a little early. He and there getting my damn Bluetooth phone connected to that thing. One is the highest priority. Hey, man, when I say flatbed game, man, I just gonna say that shit for the hell of it. Flatbed game, this a brotherhood. Like the Three Musketeers. All for one, one for all. You know how they do. Got it yet? No, bro. This shit's weird. It's like, like, it's like no phone available. Man. This shit's weird. Yeah, man. Flatbed gang. We out here. Yeah, y'all thought Luz was just for trucks. Oh, no. These windows dirty. I don't got no windshield wiper fluid in there. Loves ain't just for trucks. It's for adventurers. That's what I am. An adventurer. Ugh, you see it. Charger. Actually, a Dodge Grand Caravan. But I drove it like a Charger. I got in about 3 o'clock this morning. From Pittsburgh to Wilmington. Not sure how many miles it was. But I I don't know what's up with this window, man. That window, I heard the wind coming in last night. But I didn't know how to close it. So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe y'all Dodge Grand Caravan users know how to fix it. Yeah, man, right there on that third floor. You see that cooler up there? You see my, you see my trusty cooler? It, it, it just sits on the porch. Y'all know what that's for. It ain't much, but it's what I call home. 
Y'all know what these are? Car hearts. Some badass boots right there. They made for two things. Ass kicking and flatbed ganging. When the hurricane came through here back in uh, September, a lot of these trees fell. They cleaned it up. You see the tree stumps over there. But yeah, when the hurricane came, this whole area was fucked. You couldn't even see this little walk because it was just leaves and stuff everywhere. They got it cleaned up. But yeah, I used to come out here all the time and hang out with my neighbors. Go right over here to this volleyball court and we used to play, um, what's that game called? Where you throw the bean bags into the, into the little cornhole. I used to play it with my neighbors right here on this, uh, this volleyball court. Never actually played volleyball. But yeah, this is my little walking path. I come out here and, and walk when it, in the summertime. And I actually don't stay far away from the beach. I'm like 15 minutes from the beach. I might, I might ride down there while I'm home. I might. It's kind of chilly. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Yeah, this area to my left, that's the cornhole area. We used to have some fun out here. And we actually played after the hurricane when we didn't have any power. I came outside and I didn't even know the guys. But it was like, hey, bud, you want to play cornhole? I was like, man, I don't even know how to play, man. It's about 70 degrees out here right now in Wilmington. This pool never closes. You can go, you can go in there at your own risk. It's always open year round. We don't get snow here, like uh, up north. Yeah, I used to love coming out here. Once again, big shout out to my boy, Eric. Flatbed Mafia came through, rescued your boy from the hotel in the icy snowstorm. I-80, treacherous mountains. Came and picked your boy up, dropped me off in Pittsburgh. And he lived about 30 miles away from me. And then it was like another 50 miles to get to Pittsburgh from where I was at. So yeah, big shout out to Eric. WWE Raw. If y'all ever see him comment on my videos, and he's actually about to go to Melton to get his CDL. Thank you, Eric. On behalf of the whole Flatbed Mafia. So, today is Wednesday. Pretty much gonna chill out today, do my laundry. My girlfriend's at work. So I'm gonna do my laundry, drink coffee. My niece's birthday is today. She turned three. And I think my girl wants to go see her a little later on. But uh, that's about it. About to take this rental back and we'll go from there. Thank y'all in advance. Birthday is Friday, February 1st. Flatbed Mafia. I'm out.